March 10th was Mario Day, and on that day we received new trailers for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. These trailers each showed off certain aspects of the game, but one that was focused on heavily was the battle mode. Through the trailers and information Nintendo revealed on their website, I've compiled 5 important details you should know about the game. I'm gonna start with the multiplayer. The multiplayer in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe runs at 60 frames per second and 1080p in single player as well as in two player split screen. But when 3 or 4 players are added to the game at the same time, the frames per second drops to 30, but they still run at 1080p. That is a very understandable trade-off, I mean you can't really run 60 frames per second 4 races at a time, that isn't really realistic, so I don't think that 30 FPS drop is really a big deal, I think it's a nice trade-off. Next we actually have a new character revealed for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. This new character is Gold Mario. Yes, this is a very disappointing new character, and I shouldn't be surprised considering that Pink Gold Peach was recently revealed for Mario Sports Superstars, Nintendo loves to have clones, Mario Kart 8's original roster was very weak, so I don't know why they're putting more filler in there. This is basically like a trophy type character, because it's just unlocked once you complete all of the cups in the 200cc mode. Nintendo didn't really highlight the addition of Gold Mario too much, even on their website they didn't include Gold Mario in the section of new characters. I guess they're not really wanting to promote this as such a new character because it's really not. We already have Mario, Metal Mario, Tanuki Mario, Baby Mario, so many Marios in the game. Gold Mario isn't really necessary. Hey, at least it is something for completing all of the cups in 200cc though. It does give you a little reward for that. Next is something that's very interesting if you're interested in competitive Mario Kart. This could be a very big new feature to the game that will change up how you play Mario Kart drastically. Now, in this screenshot right here, Waluigi is shown with a purple drift. So possibly there will be a third tier of drifting within the game. Since Waluigi is currently racing in 200cc mode, it is possible that this purple drift is exclusive to that mode. But if this is a new type of drifting for every mode, this could be something that happens if you drift even longer than you would already. The fourth detail that I'm going to be talking about are the battle modes for the game. Four of them are returning battle modes which I'm going to talk about first. These are Balloon Battle, where you pop the balloons of other racers. This is a very classic mode you'll see in a lot of Mario Kart games. Next is Bob on Blast, and this one was actually only included in Mario Kart Double Dash, but this mode allows you to throw bombs at other racers. Coin Runners is a mode where players try to collect as many coins as they can in the time frame. And finally, Shine Thief is a mode where the goal is to steal the Shine Sprite and hold on to it for a count of 20, similar to a Capture the Flag type of mode. And for the fifth detail, I'm going to talk about about the fifth battle mode. This one is special because it's actually a new battle mode introduced for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. This mode is called Renegade Roundup. The concept of this mode is that some players are renegades and their purpose is to get away from the players with piranha plants on the front of their carts and their purpose is to catch the renegades. If a renegade is caught, they are sent to the jail and are unable to continue racing, but they are able to get out of jail if a fellow renegade hits the key switch. Renegades are also able to use items to stun their opponents, which will slow down their carts for a short time. The Piranha Plant drivers win if they catch all of the Renegades, but the Renegades win if they outlast the time without all of them being caught. This mode looks like a very interesting take on the cops and robbers type of formula, and it looks really fun too. So what do you think about these 5 new details revealed for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe? Are you interested in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe? Do you think it's worth the buy? if you already got the original Mario Kart 8 on Wii U. Tell me what you think in the comments section below and be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I'll see you next week with a new top 5 video. Peace out.